So here it is, Thursday afternoon. Um, I slept in pretty late. I was pretty exhausted. Um, have not heard from my mom. I haven't heard from the hospital. Uh, I tried calling her cell phone and um, the battery has died. So it's just going directly to voicemail. So I'm just going on over. So it's a, a beautiful day. I hope I get to take my mom home. To strangle this lady in front of me. She's chatting away. I don't see anybody in the seat next to her, but she doesn't know what she's doing. Obviously, going the same way I am. And there we go. All right, so I'm at the hospital. No idea what's going on here. Haven't called the hospital because that could take almost as long to get through as to just drive here. So I'm just gonna check it out. Hey, sweetie. Hi, babe. How's it going? Yeah, it's going good. I just left the hospital. Um, Mom is um, seems to be fine. She's giving the nurses hell. Um, she's already. Uh, she's already fighting for her roommate, so because she her roommate couldn't get anybody's attention, so she started harassing the nurses over that. So, <laughs> so mom's fine. Uh, they said she has vertigo, and it's something that she's going to have to deal with with for probably the rest of her life. They gave her medication, and they taught her how to deal with it. So. Okay. And um, I just hope she doesn't have any uh, troubles getting up and down the stairs. She's going to have to be very careful. But yeah, she said that they'll probably discharge her around 4. And um, her phone is dead. So I put, uh, so I wrote my uh, phone number on, the, um, um, on their chalkboard there. So she should be able to call me from there. Then she's laying with me today. She's finally getting to the point where when I'm in bed, she'll just lay next to me for the most part. Sometimes she'll come in and want me to pet her for a little while, and then she'll just lay on the side of me, and she'll sleep. And Boomer's finally getting that way with Kevin. For the most part, sometimes he still drives you insane. Yes. <laughs> so, Kevin went to pick Mom up from the hospital, and um, they're going to go by the bank and he'll probably bring her home and then he's gonna probably run by the grocery store because I'm out of tomato soup and I can't be out of tomato soup I love my tomato soup and I want a steak for dinner tonight so he's gonna pick up some steaks I'm sitting here right now going through shout outs or going through comments looking for shout outs and responding to comments while I am watching Paranormal Activity 3 on TV. So that's about it. Having a very chilled, relaxed day. Megan is going to San Diego after school today so I won't see her until Sunday. And that's about all I have going on. Nice, quiet, relaxed house today. So I'll catch y'all later. Jeez, I hope you don't put holes in the bottom of that Tupperware. We'll have beer all over the place. Yeah, holes. I'm gonna back off a little here. Why? I'm not upset with you. Good. Boomer, Today! Boomer, I would take a few steps back. We're on a diet, so we got light beer. This isn't a nibbling, but I had to show 
stab it in my meat. And I'm marinating my steak in beer. Well, light beer. Light beer. This isn't real beer, but that's a, hey. another story. All right, I want everybody to see this right now. Val put holes in the bottom of the Tupperware. <laughs> Good job, dear. I think maybe I ought to put it in the sink so it'll drain. <coughs> Stop dropping things. So, I wanted steak for dinner tonight, so Kevin stopped by and picked up some steak. And we're having steak. With mushrooms and onions and cuckoo, 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 with peas and pearlized onions mixed together. Very good. Aww. Right, Freckles? This one is going, give me, and I will say whatever you want. Yum. Mm-hmm. Yep. To what? It's good. Everything? Mm-hmm. Even the couscous with the peas and... Yeah. yeah. I liked it with the garbanzo beans. I'm finding it very strange. I've never had garbanzo beans before. Um, Rocky and Rich brought it over in the salad that she made. And I love them. Even cooked. They're very good. And supposedly they're very good for me. Good. So. Yeah. Pile that salt on. You know, your blood pressure was what, what was just a tad bit high. Hello, everybody. It's time for Neighborhood Community Shout-out! We told them all about Mom already, right? Yeah. Okay. She's okay. And thanks, everybody, for your prayers and your well wishes. She really appreciates that. And you'll notice she does. She did make a, a comment on it to yesterday's blog. Yes, yeah, so thank you, everybody, for that. Okay. Tiara Anderson. Welcome to the neighborhood. Taylor Berry, we told you guys yesterday that she's having a baby, and she found out that she's having a son, and her son's name is going to be Caleb Michael Keith Bennett. Caleb, because that was going to be her brother's name, and Michael Keith was her uncle's name who passed away. So, good reasonings behind those names as well. Tanya Ray, welcome back, girl. We missed you. Vincent Gutierrez, glad you're still alive Ooh. and glad to hear from you. We missed you too. Simply Me, 1970, welcome to the neighborhood. <laughs> Frankie Lavon, she was a little bit behind, um, but. I wanted to read this for her. She has had two back surgeries and an open heart surgery. And this all happened when she was a baby. So that that's pretty serious, you know, having that when you, all done when you're a baby. And she wanted to, me to tell everybody when she can't sleep, she watches vlogs. I hope that means you watch The Neighbors. We're really good for insomnia. <laughs> and Trans Am Girly. Um, I did not know this. And uh, just to inform a lot of people out there, she had to take her cat to the vet the other day because her cat ate lilies. And I guess lilies are poisonous to cats. So... Heads up, everybody, on that. I didn't know that. Thanks for letting us know. And Raymond Big Dog. He wants to know why Megan can't get her own prescriptions. She's pretty much in college, four days a week, 12 hours a day. 
and when she's not in school, she tutors. So she really doesn't have any free time on her hands. So with Kevin being home right now, he doesn't mind doing it when he can. Why should I mind? Yeah. So. Okay. Now my question uh, two days ago was, what do you do when you can't sleep? And we got a lot of different answers. Um, read books, uh, watch TV, uh, take sleep aids, um, play on play games, video games, play on your iPad. But a lot of people said that they watch YouTube. And that's what I do most of the time when I can't sleep is I will watch YouTube videos. And I'm still behind. I never seem to be able to catch up. But sometimes that doesn't even help me. Because when I get my restless leg syndrome and I can't sleep, I have to get up and do something. So I'll get up and clean. <laughs> what do you do when you can't sleep? I, well, usually I put myself to sleep with, um, with, with TV. 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 Uh, but um, I'd say for me, uh, to, if I really can't get to sleep, uh, uh, a good shot of Jack Daniels will, will usually do the trick. See, none of that stuff works for me. I don't understand it. Okay, and then my question yesterday was, if they were to make a movie or a book about your life, what would the title be? And um, I picked three out that were pretty much my favorite. Pyro Nation was Never Give Up, and that was like a story of rags to riches, and I really liked that story. Um, Simply My, Simply, Simply Me, 1970. If I didn't live it, I wouldn't believe it. And yeah, I think I like that a lot. And my favorite is Tanya Longley, The Voices in My Head. And I like that one because I could definitely relate. And uh, what would yours be? Uh, with me, it's probably going to be a project's not done until you bleed on it. <laughs> That's a good one for you. And mine would have to be something like testing gravity, bubble girl testing gravity. <laughs> My question for tonight is, are you holding on to something that you should really throw away, but you just can't seem to let go of? My razor. <laughs> It's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Okay, here we go. A lot of stuff to do here. Uh, the first da, 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 question da. from two days ago was, what movie did Janet Lee and Jamie Lee Curtis, who are mother and father, or are mother and daughter, got that right, uh, what movies did they appear in together? And that would be The Fog and Halloween H2O. And if you, if you watched Halloween H2O when Janet Lee's there, there's a, a little bit of uh, the theme from Psycho. I don't know if you noticed that. There's a lot of cool little tiny things in there. The people who got that right were um, Terry Johnson's son, YouTube Guy 1985, Melody from Mom's Vlog 80, Greg Myers, Tanya Longley, and Lucas Life, Fun 64, and Bambi S. And last night's trivia question, but in the original screen, uh, which we all got the, the uh, costume, uh, Ghostface. If you, if you go to a store, it'll be Ghostface. Uh, it's, they call it Ghostface throughout all the films, but when they first introduced the, uh, the uh, costume in the police department, it's in its original package, and it says, Father Death. Uh, Wes Craven did that on purpose, trying to divert attention to, uh, to Red Herring so that they think that it was uh, um, Sydney's, Sydney's father. father. Okay, and those who got that were Tanya, Tanya uh, Longley, Terry Johnson, uh, Jade Cannabis uh, Explorer, and Greg Meyer. Okay, tonight's uh, trivia question has to do with Beetlejuice 1988. Beetlejuice. 
Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Okay, Beetlejuice 1988 has an interesting mistake in it. You will notice that all the ghosts in the show are, in, are, are represented at the moment that they died. Cut in half, shrunk in heads, uh, run over by a truck, cut wrist, whatever. Except for the Maitlands who drowned. And if, if it was true, they would be wet throughout the whole thing. Why did they do that? Why did that, uh, why was that done? That's the question. There you have it. There's your trivia question for tonight. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here today if it weren't for all of you out there watching us. We love you all so very much. Thumbs up. Thank you all for following along. Make sure to go check out all our other fun stuff. And we will see you all tomorrow.